Let's go out to eat. That sounds like fun. Where do you want to go? Let me think a minute. I feel like Chinese. That sounds delicious. I know a good Chinese restaurant. How far away is it? It's only ten minutes from here. Do we need uh, reservations? Oh, no. We can walk right in. Let's go now. I'm hungry. I can't believe how long this line is. This is a popular restaurant, isn't it? Yes, but isn't it a fast food restaurant? Is it? It's the slowest hamburger in town. That's because they cook it while you wait. Yes, that's why it's also the best hamburger in town. A great burger and great service. Yes, the workers are very polite. And they're clean. I've been coming here for years. Me too. Excuse me, they just called my number. Lunch was delicious. Thank you. What kind of soup was that? It was tomato soup. That tasted so good. I put lemon and butter in it. The sandwich was good too. Everyone likes bacon and tomato sandwiches. Especially on toast. And the pickles were great too. Tomorrow we'll have rice and fish for lunch. I can't wait. I'm calling the waiter. What's the matter? The steak has too much fat. What do you want the waiter to do? Bring me a better steak. I wouldn't do that. Why not? They will drop the new steak on the floor, step on it, and then spit on it. You're crazy. Then the waiter will give you a big smile as he brings you the new steak. Where did you get these crazy ideas? I used to cook in a restaurant. Let's leave. But we just got here. Did you see the waiter's hands? No. He had dirty fingernails. Really? His nails were black. That's disgusting. And he poured water into our glasses. Yuck. No water for me. I wonder if the cook's nails are dirty too. Who cares? Let's get out of here. This hot bread is delicious. I like this restaurant because they give you free bread. Well, I think we're we are paying for it. No, look at the bill when we get it. There's no charge for the bread. It is delicious, especially with butter. I think we should just leave after we fill up on the bread. They probably wouldn't like that. I'm eating so much bread that I'm getting full. Then stop eating the bread. Okay. Just one more piece. Pass the butter, please. If I owned a restaurant, I would never serve hot bread before the main course. That's terrible. I would never go to your restaurant. Is this a clean restaurant? Well, the tables and chairs look okay. Okay. Let's sit down. Check out the silverware. It passes inspection. Here comes the waiter. See if his hands and nails are clean. Well, the waiter looked clean, so I guess it's okay to eat here. You're forgetting about the bathroom. I'm going to just hope that the bathroom is clean. You're not going to examine it before we order dinner. No, I'd rather not find out that it's dirty because I'm pretty hungry right now. Me too. Let's forget about germs and focus on food. Have you seen our waiter? Here he comes now. We've been sitting here for almost ten minutes. Oops, I guess I was wrong. That isn't our waiter. We can give him five more minutes and then leave. I'll go up front and talk to the manager. That's a good idea. Maybe they'll give us free drinks for waiting so long. Maybe he'll send us our waiter immediately. Every time we eat out, it's an adventure. Last time we got seats next to the kitchen. We'll never go there again. Is this table okay? 
No, it's too close to the kitchen door. How about this table? No, it's too close to the front door. This looks like a nice table. No, it's too close to the salad bar. Okay, I give up. Well, there is one good table. Great, which one? That one. A group of eight just sat down at it. I don't believe the art world. What is it this time? An Andy Warhol drawing. He's a famous artist. He drew two butterflies and a flower on a napkin in a restaurant. Did he sign it? Yes. Is it beautiful? It's just black ink on a white napkin, and the napkin has food stains. So it's not worth much? Only about $30,000. Without the food stains, it would probably be worth more. Can we go to a baseball game? Of course. I love baseball. So do I. I love to eat the peanuts. I love to eat the hot dogs. I hope we'll see a home run. I hope we'll catch a foul ball. Bring a jacket. Yes, it gets a little cool at night. Bring a glove to catch a foul ball. No, I'll just use my cap to catch a foul ball. Golf is a silly game. It certainly is. You hit a white ball. And then you chase it. And then you hit it again. Finally, you put the ball into a hole in the ground. You do this 18 times because there are 18 holes. What's the point? How can it be fun? They pay money to play this silly game. I think golfers have a mental problem. I think they're nuts. Do you want to go fishing? Yes, that's a good idea. Where do you want to go? We can go to the river. Or we can go to the lake. Or we can go to the ocean. Let's go to the lake. Yes, the lake is only 10 miles away. We can be there in 20 minutes. I'll get our fishing rods. I'll get the bait. We'll have fresh fish for dinner. Baseball is fun. I like to hit the ball. I like to run around the bases. I like to slide into the bases. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to slide. I want to be a baseball player when I grow up. Me too. I want to play for the Yankees. Not me. I want to play for the Dodgers. We have to practice every day. I don't like practice. Me neither. It's boring. But practice makes perfect. Let's go jogging. That's a good idea. I bought some new shoes. Are they comfortable? They're very comfortable. How much were they? They were on sale for $80. Do they help you run faster? No, but my feet don't hurt anymore. Then they're worth every penny. You might want to buy a pair. I'll wait until I wear this pair out. Tiger is the greatest golfer in the world. You can say that again. But I'm worried about Tiger. Why is that? Because he likes to scuba dive. What's wrong with that? It can be dangerous. You mean he could drown? He shouldn't scuba dive until he retires. But he dives to relax. He might relax, but it makes me nervous. If his wife doesn't mind, you shouldn't mind. Did you watch that golf tournament? The one that Tiger won? How did he do it? It was nothing for him. He sank a 20-foot putt on the last hole to win by one stroke. He sank a 25-footer last year at the same tournament to win by one stroke. I think he is from outer space. No human could possibly play golf that well. Whenever he needs a shot to win a tournament, he makes that shot. No human can do that. Somebody should check his birth record. I bet it says he was born on Mars. Who's the greatest baseball player? There are so many great players. Yes, but who is the greatest? I'd have to say Babe Ruth. Most people would say that. He changed the game. Yes, he made the home run popular. 
Everybody loved him all over the nation. He helped make the Yankees the best team ever. And Ruth was a good person, too. He always visited hospitals to cheer up sick kids. There will never be another babe. Did you hear what happened at the baseball game? No. Please tell me. Someone punched out someone. That's not nice. It's worse than that. How so? Two guys got into an argument. I bet they were drinking. A third guy punched out one of the two guys. I bet he was drinking too. The victim hit his head on the concrete steps and died. That's terrible. Can't people just have fun at a baseball game? I want to go to the ball game. Is there a game tonight? Yes. It starts at 7 p.m. Can we get tickets? Yes, but only the cheap tickets. How much are they? They're only $5 each. That's a good price. Yes. It's cheaper than a hot dog or a beer. Where are the seats? They're behind the outfield. Maybe we can catch a home run ball. Golf is so hard. What's so hard about hitting a little white ball? It's hard if you want to do it right. You mean like Tiger? No, like a good amateur golfer. What's so hard about golf? There are so many things you have to do right. Like what? Like keep your left arm straight, keep your head down, and follow through. Yikes, who can remember all of that? You need to get a lot of lessons when you're really young. Forget it, golf sounds more like work than fun. Did you hear about the ball player? The home run hitter on drugs? He said a doctor helped him with a personal problem. He said he wasn't using drugs. He apologized to the fans. The league suspended him for 50 games. That will cost him some money. Yes, about seven million dollars. That will teach him a good lesson. He probably won't use drugs anymore. But it won't stop other players from using drugs. No. Everyone always figures that they won't get caught. Did you see Titanic? Yes, it is a great movie. I saw it 12 times. I saw it 8 times. I have the DVD. So do I. Let's go to your home. We can watch my DVD. And then we can go to my home. And watch your DVD. I always cry at the end. Me too. It's so sad. Let's play cards. I don't know any card games. I'll teach you one. Okay. What will you teach me? It's called poker. Is it easy to learn? Yes. It will only take about 30 minutes. Okay, teach me how to play. We each get five cards. Oh, look, I have four tens. That's great, but you're not supposed to tell me. Oh, sorry. Okay, I don't have four tens. I'm a good card player. Why is that? Because I watch the other players. What do you mean? People will tell you if they have a good hand. How do they do that? For example, a friend of mine licks his lips. When he licks his lips, you know he has a good hand? I know he has a good hand, so I don't bet. He never wins your money? Nope, and it drives him crazy. He knows you can't read his mind. Maybe he thinks you are cheating. Turn the radio down, please. But I'm listening to it. Well, listen to it more quietly. I can't wait till I grow up. What will you do? I will play the radio as loud as I want. That's okay with me. I will have a radio in every room of my house. Remind me to never visit you. All the radios will be on extra loud. Your neighbors will hate you. If they don't like it, they can move. I hope I win the lotto. Your chances are very small. But you can't win if you don't play. Ha! 
You can't win if you do play. <laughs> so what has to win? That's what everyone says. Might as well be me. That's what everyone says. You're trying to tell me something? That didn't take long. You think I should quit playing? Save your money for school. What's on TV? Mm, nothing much. What about the baseball game? It got rained out. Rained out? Yes, rained out. How could that be? Well, you can't play baseball in a rainstorm. I thought they were playing under a dome. The dome doesn't close. Why doesn't it close? Who knows? They said they'll fix it before next season. Can I try your coffee? Sure. Here you go. Hmm. That's not bad. There's nothing in it. What do you mean? I mean, it's just coffee. I figured that. It's not too bitter for you. It's a little bitter, but it's okay. There's no sugar or cream in it. No, it's a taste you have to get used to. Sort of like beer. Let's take a walk. What's the weather like? Let me step outside and see. It's a little chilly, right? Yes, it is. I'll put on my cap. Wear a jacket, too. I wonder if I should bring my gloves. Maybe you should, just in case it gets colder. I'll put a glove in each pocket. We'll get warmer as we walk. Yes, but it gets colder as the sun goes down. Look at the car chase on TV. That driver is crazy. I can't believe he hasn't crashed. How fast is he going? They say he's going 80 miles per hour. He's going to kill someone. Look, he just hit that car. Oh my goodness, no one is safe on the streets. Now he's slowing down. Maybe he ran out of gas. Look, he just got out of the car and started running. I hope the police catch him. TV news is so stupid. They shouldn't even call it news. Last night, they told us about a cat in a sofa. Yesterday, they told us about a dog in a pipe. Last week, they told us about a bear in a backyard. Last month, they told us about a mouse in a restaurant. The weatherman tells us the temperature in every town. The sports guy shows us players fighting. They always tell us what's next. They always make what's next sound exciting, but it never is. It's more like news for kids. They should have kid reporters. I love my computer. Computers are so cool. I love to go online. The internet is amazing. You can travel all over the world. I know. I went to China yesterday. What did you do? I stood on the Great Wall and looked all around. What was it like? It was like the real thing. It was like being there? Yes. I feel like I was actually there. The Beatles are the best. They are the best musical group ever. I love their songs. I don't know which one I like the best. I like the ones I can sing along with. So do I, like, She Loves You. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know you should be glad. What a great song. How about Let It Be? Oh, yes. Let it be. Let it be. There will be an answer. Let it be. Let's go see a movie. I'd rather not. Why not? You know I don't like crowds. Let's go to an early movie. Okay, that won't be very crowded. What would you like to see? Oh, I don't care. You're the one who wants to go out. Well, I want to go see The Pursuit of Happiness. What have you heard about it? It's based on a true story about a divorced man and his young son. Well, I hope it has a happy ending. What's your favorite thing to do? I like to watch people. That's your favorite thing to do? Well, it's one of them. Where do you go to watch people? 
My girlfriend and I sit outside Starbucks. That sounds like a good spot. We watch people walk by with their dogs. I guess you see lots of different dogs. We don't even know what kind most of them are. There are lots of different kinds, but they all have one thing in common. Yes, they love to sniff each other when they meet. They call him Father Dollar Bill. Yes, he was on the TV news today. Every Easter Sunday, he gives away money. Is it his money? No, movie stars give him money to give to homeless people. How much money does he give away? This year, he gave away $15,000. That's a lot of money. He gave $100 to people in wheelchairs. What about the other homeless people? They get one dollar each. People stood in line just to get one dollar? Oh, the movies are the best. Even though they're in black and white? A good story is more important than color. Actors didn't curse back then. And there was no violence. People today don't like that. No, today people like lots of action. I like a good story. I like to see actors who are like real people. Like real people with real problems. They still make movies like that. Yes, but they never make much money. Do you get PBS on TV? Yes, everybody gets the public broadcasting system. It puts me to sleep. Tell me about it. A gardening show follows a knitting show. A cooking show follows a sewing show. A travel show follows another travel show. I'll say, I've gone around the world a dozen times already. Now they're adding old TV shows to the old movies. I sure would like to see something interesting for a change. If more people donate money, PBS could offer new shows. Who wants to donate? Public TV should be free. I love to watch Judge Judy. Is that a TV show? Yes, it's on every afternoon. What's so good about it? They have interesting lawsuits. Such as? Yesterday, a woman complained about a cell phone she bought on eBay. Was something wrong with the phone? It works only in Canada. Did the seller know that? Yes, and he didn't tell the buyer. I hope Judge Judy made the seller take the phone back. That woman is a very good singer. Yes, but she looks like a man. What difference does it make? Female singers are supposed to be pretty. Singers are supposed to sound good. They should look good, too. There are lots of ugly men singers. Men singers don't have to look good. Then neither do women singers. Well, I would never buy her CD. But you would buy her CD if she was pretty? Yes, I would buy all of her CDs. All the TV stations are going to go digital. Yes, that will occur next month. Most of them are already broadcasting in digital. The digital signal is very clear. Oh no, it isn't. What do you mean? I can't get a single channel. Do you have a digital TV? Of course, but I don't have cable. You don't need to have cable, but you do need a good antenna. But I have rabbit ears. Rabbit ears aren't strong enough. Buy a digital antenna. I've got a date for you. Oh, really? Are you interested? Maybe. What is she like? She's got a great personality. Uh Uh-oh. That means that she's fat and ugly. She's cute. Okay, so she's not ugly. She's just fat. She weighs 98 pounds. Okay, she's not fat. So what's the problem with her? Who said there's a problem with her? The problem is, she has no problems. She's too good for me. I think you're very pretty. (laughs) Thank you. Would you have dinner with me? I would like to. Can I pick you up Friday night? What time? Eight o'clock. That sounds great. We'll go to a French restaurant. I've never been to a French restaurant. I think you'll love the food. I'm not going to eat any snails. You have pretty eyes. Thank you. So do you. I wish my eyes were blue. 
What's the matter with green eyes? Nothing except my favorite color is blue. Maybe in your next life, you'll have blue eyes. But what if I'm a fish in my next life? I think some fish have blue eyes. I hope I don't come back as a fish. I hope I come back as a cat. Cats have beautiful eyes. I would love to have blue cat eyes. I love you. I love you too. I loved you the first day I saw you. Was it love at first sight? Yes, it was love at first sight. I didn't love you at first. I know, I had to chase you for a while. Yes, you chased me and then you caught me. Now you're mine forever. And you're mine forever. We're going to grow old together. And be happy together. I'm in love with that girl. Have you told her? Of course not. Why not? She would laugh at me. How do you know? Because they always do. Maybe she's different. They're all the same. Just ask her out to dinner. And then what? And then she'll know that you like her. Give me a hug. I'm not in the mood. What's the matter? I saw you looking at that woman. What woman? You know, that woman with the big boobs. I was not looking at her. You were too. I'm not interested in her. Then, why were you looking at her? I was looking at something else. Oh, really? Then spend tonight looking at the sofa. Would you like to go on a blind date? You must be joking. No, I'm serious. I don't want to date a blind woman. A blind date doesn't mean that she is blind. What does it mean? A blind date is a date with someone you don't know. Why would I date someone I don't even know? To try something new and exciting. What if I don't like her? Then you don't date her again. I have a date tomorrow night. Really? Who with? A girl I met at the market. You met a girl at the supermarket? She was standing behind me in a really slow line at the checkout counter. What did you say to her? I had two pineapples in my cart, and she asked where I had found them. She asked you about your pineapples? I told her I took the last two on the shelf, but I offered her one of mine. That was nice of you. She asked me how she could return the favor, so I asked her out. Sometimes a slow line can be a good thing. Did you have a date Friday night? Yes, in fact, I did. Who did you go out with? A man I met in a coffee shop. Where did you go? We went to a nice restaurant. Anywhere else? Then we went to a jazz club. That sounds like a nice date. Yes, it was pleasant. But you won't date him again? No, he was nice, but there was no chemistry. I had the worst date the other night. What happened? First of all, he was half an hour late. That's not a good start. Then he didn't bother to apologize. That's rude. Then he drove too fast to the restaurant. That's dangerous. I thought about getting out and taking a taxi home. What happened at the restaurant? We had a $40 meal, and he left $1 tip. I guess you can't go back to that restaurant. I don't like that man. Why not? He's a dirty old man. What do you mean? He's old enough to be my father, yet he asked me out. Well, you can't blame a man for asking. He should act his age. But a lot of old people are still interested in dating. They should find a nice hobby. Just wait until you're 50 years old. Dating will be the furthest thing from my mind. That's what you say now. Wait till you're 50. Does your girlfriend ever make you angry? Sometimes. What does she do? 
Just yesterday I told her I wouldn't trade her for all the money in the world. That was a nice thing to say. <laughs> That's what I thought. What did she say? She laughed. She didn't believe me. That wasn't very nice of her. She said that nothing is more important to me than money. What did you say? I told her I wouldn't trade her for any other woman in the world. Some people have good noses. I wish I had a good nose. Mine is way too big. I don't mean good looking. I mean good smelling. Oh, but that can be a curse. Yes, because you can be too sensitive to odors. I'll say, my girlfriend has a nose like a drug dog. Did she catch you using drugs? Sort of. She knows whenever I sneak a cigarette. You don't need a good nose for that. Cigarettes stink. But when I sneak just one cigarette in the morning, she can smell it that evening. Boy, that is a good nose. I told her she should apply for a job at customs.